of all. Start playing, everybody. <laughs> well, if you love a good coffee break basically any time of day, uh, you need to get on the Jitter Bus. And that's what Channel 3's Roger Susanna did. He went with the Something's Cooking crew, and they perked up as soon as they visited New Haven's first mobile coffee shop. Uh, large skin dirty jet, huh? <laughs> Who would have ever guessed that one of New Haven's coolest coffee shops is owned and operated by two guys who got fired from Starbucks? They were kind of just like, you're not really cut out for this. You're not Starbucks material. You're not really what we're looking for. But maybe it's for the best that Dan Barletta and Paul Crosby aren't Starbucks material. Because that setback led to this four-wheeled cafe they call the Jitter Bus. Paul came up with the idea when an ice cream truck passed by. I kind of realized, like, you know, I don't want ice cream right now, but I would definitely drink coffee. So that's kind of where it all was like, ding, ding. A short time later, they spotted a bus for sale on Craigslist. She sold it for super cheap because she just wanted it out of her driveway, and it's like held up ever since. And now, seven years later, the Jitter Bus is still going strong. Parked near the corner of Hill House Avenue and Grove Street, <laughs> just steps from Yale's campus, they make some of the best coffee, espresso, tea and specialty drinks on earth. My philosophy is people like coffee the way they like it, and if I can make it that way, I'm definitely gonna make it for them. Everything is delicious, but Dan and Paul recommend their top-selling dirty chai with a devilish shot of espresso, and their hot latte is iconic. We met regulars and newbies giving the Jitterbus a shot for the first time. Perfect. It's perfect. Perfect. <laughs> well, you can't do better than perfect. Yeah, yeah, then you come. So, what would Dan and Paul say to those Starbucks managers who fired them back in the day? I guess I would say, you know, honestly, no hard feelings. Maybe that helped me realize that I needed to work for myself, you know? All right, my hungry homies, look at these beautiful drinks that the Jitterbus gang made for us. First of all, you got this gorgeous latte, and, uh, gentlemen, thanks a latte for making it for me, but, uh, I've never been afraid of getting my hands a little dirty, and this is the dirty chai. Bottoms up. Mm. You know, that is so great. The next time you're in New Haven and want a great coffee, you got to stop by and get on the Jitterbus bandwagon. Reporting in New Haven for Something's Cooking, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thanks a latte, I said. Mm. That's a good joke. I'm going to try this, too.